For those of you who are taking Thesis Seminar, I want to spend a few minutes recapping our final two weeks as we begin mock presentations. In Microsoft Teams, I uploaded here a link to a feedback page that I have begun working on. I started actually yesterday, and as I'm going through some of the papers and as uh, as I am collecting and categorizing the types of feedback that I'm providing, I'm going to create a list of uh, points that I think are worth taking a look at. So a couple of things here in this post that I posted yesterday, May 25th. The first being the mock presentation. This is the uh, up-to-date schedule for the mock presentations, again, that are gonna, that's uh, going to begin on Monday, May 27th. Here we have a second link, and this link takes you to a page in Notion here where I have a link, or a list, I should say, of all the main points that, I am, uh, that I've been seeing that are coming up as I'm evaluating your papers. So even though, depending on when you're scheduled to give your mock presentation, I would suggest that you start referring to this list before you receive my feedback so that you can begin making some of these changes if some of these points apply to your own paper. So take a look at each of these points one by one. Some may apply to your writing, some may not. But take a look and check for yourself each of these points, checking your thesis paper and making those changes as necessary. Of course, I will give you feedback the day that you present your mock presentation. I'll return your printed thesis paper with uh, notes and uh, please take those into consideration as you work on the final week making those changes to your final paper. Remember that your final thesis paper is going to be due one week before you're scheduled to present your oral defense. We'll need three hard copies, and those copies should be formal. They should be bound, or they can be in hardback if you want to do that. If you do bind the the documents, your thesis paper, make sure that you use a transparent front cover so that we can see easily see uh, which paper that we have. So take a look at the list here that I've provided under thesis paper feedback, and also take a look at the writing errors by category. If you select these arrows just to the left of each of the headings, you'll be able to see additional information that relates to each of the categories, and you'll be able to see kind of what words or phrases that I'm referring to that relate to each of these points. So for example, boosting and hedging, a lot has to do with how you're using or not using certain absolutes like all, never, everyone, no one, the, the word very, and also other phrases that, that uh, relate to hedging. Most of the modals <clears throat> relate to hedging. And uh, again, with hedging and boosting, I would say boosting, we want to try to avoid altogether. Hedging requires a very careful balance. And I think if you stick to, for the most part, avoiding the modal can and uh, just being careful with adverbs like perhaps and other modals like could and may, might, um, then you should be okay. It's not to say that you should never use these modals or the adverbs, but again, balance is the key. So take a look at each of the categories. Take a look at your own document. If uh, you're using phrases like it is important, then this is going to relate to showing versus telling and so on. So again, take a look at these. And if you do have questions, this is something that we can talk about either getting together and uh, looking at your paper if you uh, feel it's necessary or if you just have questions that you want to post or ask me via Microsoft chat. So we'll go ahead and conclude here and I uh, look forward to starting our mock presentations. And again, make sure you reach out to me if you do have any questions.